so today we will be making a crepe paper garland. What you need, crepe paper, colors of your choice. I have green, black, and white. And I've cut them into about 14 to 15 inches long. And I have um, about eight pieces of each color. Now the amount of crepe paper you need will depend on how long you want your garland to be. So if you need a really long garland, then of course you're gonna need more crepe paper than someone who needs like a shorter garland. So I'm just using twill, which can be purchased at the dollar store. And the crepe paper of course comes in uh, packs of two at the dollar store. So this is very inexpensive and very easy to do. So I've already measured the amount of twill that I need. So that's probably the easiest way. Measure the amount of twill that you need for your specific location, whether it's the fireplace, the table, or whatever. And then you can go on adding the crepe paper. Now, what I'm going to do, take a piece of crepe paper, fold it in half. And there, so you can see the center. And I'm just going to scrunch it just like that and then I'm going to twist and I'm twisting both sides just like that see making it really small just like that and of course you can make the pieces um, longer if you want a larger garland or even shorter if you choose it's completely up to you and just be careful because you don't want to break the paper. It's very thin and very fragile. Okay, and once you get about, about an inch, try to keep it towards the center. But if it's not completely in the center, it's not gonna, it's not gonna be horrible. And there we go. I'm gonna do one in each color, then I'll show you how I add it to the actual twill. what they're going to look like when you complete all of them but I'm gonna I just wanted to do three so that I can show you the next step so I start from the center of my twill and I just pick a piece um, let's go with white and what I'm going to do is twist it around and made a loop see and then I'm just going to twist twist it together so you can also tie it if you choose but I think this way is just so simple and you can also reinforce it with glue if you'd like but just a small amount all the way until you can't twist it anymore because you want it to be stable where it is if you leave a loop it can start to slide up and down the twill and again how much space you put in between in between each piece is completely up to you I like to leave about four four or five inches in between but you can make them really close and like leave two inches or further away like eight inches so this is completely up to you again you make it your own do it the exact way that you would like for it to be done again you're going to loop it around the twill just like that try to keep it even and twist it again Go. Just like that. So simple, easy, and so adorable. And inexpensive. Did I mention it's inexpensive? All items purchased at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna get some more done and show you the finished product. So cute and simple to 
do and it does not take much time at all. This is a quick last minute DIY that's inexpensive and easy to do. So this is the final product. It looks so cute. It's so simple and inexpensive and easy to do. And again, for extra security, you can add a little hot glue or tape, whatever you prefer. But it's so cute. And don't forget, you can like move it around and adjust it if you want it wider, if you want it closer together, you are free to do that. But it's so cute. Now all you have to do is make sure you leave extra on the end to tie it up. And you can put it on the table, fireplace, on the wall, wherever you prefer. Okay, so once you get to the ending, another option you can do is cut the ends. If you want it to look more like fun. So, you can see the difference. You can keep it together, you know, it's two pieces, or you can cut it into smaller pieces. Completely up to you, or you can even alternate it. Whatever you prefer. Either way, it will look cute and adorable. Mm -hmm.